You know how some uh, YouTube channels have like uh, an introductory little, you know, thank you, uh, short little video on their channel at the top that kind of tells what their channel's about. I should do one that says, hey, welcome to the most boring channel on YouTube. Possibly the most boring video presentation on the internet. If you're having trouble sleeping or being distracted, put my channel on and all your worries disappear because you fall asleep and you'll get the rest you need. Because it's the most boring video channel on the internet. This could be the start of something big. So after the students left my uh, classroom before school today, I got up to do something and I saw this, that someone snuck into my room. Is this great? This little goodie bag. It's got my name on it. It's got a note. It's got some fluffy stuff. Let's see what the note says. It says, you rock. Oop, dropped it. Nope. <clears throat> I'm doing this one handed. Let me cover that up. I don't want people to see that. Okay, um, Mark, have I told you how thrilled I am that you lead our band? So excited for the program you're building and the opportunities for our kids. Thank you for adding so much to the RHS family. Let's have a great year, Rhonda. That's uh, my department chair. She sent out goodie bags. P.S. The banana nut bread has pecans, just in case you are allergic. So thoughtful. You rock. Let's see what's in this little goodie bag here. So you've got some fluffy paper. Ooh, ooh. Look at that, a nice compact stapler very nice what's this ww thing ww woodwinds woodwick it's a candle Ooh, not nice. it's got a funny wick i never saw a wick like that a candle okay what does it say it's purple flavored. Gorgeous, nice. Here's the banana nut bread she mentioned with pecones. Some little things in the bottom. It says, you rock. It's kind of granular feeling. Are these like pop rocks? Like from the 70s? I don't know. And a couple bookmarks. What are these? Oh, some stickers. Stickers, pandas, unicorns, tacos, etc. That is so cool. So fun and encouraging. This makes me smile. That's how it is. That's great. That's very nice. Thank you. Thank you, uh, department chair, who shall remain nameless because I didn't get your permission to put you on YouTube. Thank you so much. We're off to a good start, aren't we? Woohoo! Good year. So today in Music Appreciation, uh, they worked out <coughs> what they call a musical style check and they listened to 20 different tracks, you know, just, you know, a few seconds, 30, 40 seconds of each track of 20 different styles of music. And they were freaking out because they go, uh, they don't know what Baroque is, or some of them don't know Dixieland or Minimalist or Musical Theater or Ragtime or Renaissance or Romantic, but they all, Pretty much all recognize Native American, bluegrass, blues, country and western, heavy metal, march, mariachi, rap. They they mostly got all those right, but it doesn't go in the grade book. This is just a survey. I mean, it's just to, just to introduce the students to different types of music. And I said, don't worry about it. You don't have to know this stuff. In fact, I let them talk about it. We talked about it. 
um, and, you know, after it was all done, we went through it a couple times and went through it. And I said, but see, each, you're going to become experts in each of these. And by the end of the semester or the school year, if you stay with me all year, you're going to be experts in all these. You're going to be able to recognize them and identify them. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Just hang in there, man. It's a fun ride. This is without doubt or hesitation, the best banana nut bread I have had in all of 2019 so far. There, the gauntlet has been tossed, thrown down, pick it up, who's gonna meet the challenge? Okay, Tuesday. Tonight is, well today is the second, my glasses are filthy. Today's the second Tuesday of the month. Tonight is the monthly Music Booster Club meeting. The Music Booster Club is made up of parents and parental units of students in the music program. So that's right now band and auxiliary. <coughs> I sent home a letter. I did a couple of remind app reminders. Last year, I, I never got more than three or four parents and it's because they were officers, except for one. I had one parent who was not an officer that was faithful to attend uh, most of, well, I'd say three quarters of the year. That was great. But dang it, you know, if it's just gonna be two or three people, I can do it myself. I want more parents involved. If you're watching this, Come out, 6.30, in the band room, the second Tuesday of the month. Come out, be involved. We talk about fundraisers, we talk about uh, the calendar, upcoming events, and if we don't have parents involved, we don't know what our resources are for making the band better. If parents are involved, then we can brainstorm things, and we can think things through, and somebody can have a great idea that nobody else thought of to make the band better, to make the band happen and do things and go places. And if the parents are involved, that says volumes to their students. If the parents are not involved, that says volumes to their students. Come on, mom and dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, step parents, foster parents, adoptive parents, did I cover it? No, there's other people. Let's call them legal guardians. That covers everybody. Come out, be part of the Music Booster Club. Meanwhile, I know it's only 4.30-ish, but I feel a little lightheaded. I gotta get dinner with this new um, lunch schedule on campus. My lunch is like at 10.50. It's really, or not even that, I think it's 10.42 or something. I gotta eat. I'm sorry. Do I sound like I'm whining? I don't mean to be a whiner. I'm not a whiner by nature. It's not what I do. Please forgive me for being a whiner. So I'm at Jay's Hideaway on Diamond Street in Rosamond. This is one of my favorite places to go for dinner when I'm eating in Rosamond. Good food, good service, good people. I highly recommend it. Jay's Hideaway on Diamond Street in Rosamond, California. And that is how this social media influence him. Oh, probably good, good like free meals and stuff like that. Let me just say, hey, check this place out. What do you say? I said, that's how you do social media influencing. You don't try to sneak your way into free meals and free stuff in exchange for mentioning them online. You just talk about them online and tell them how good they are. Tell people to check them out. That's social media influencing right there.
It's almost time for my music boosters meeting. I hope that I did not put out enough chairs. <laughs>